Hi, I'm Katsumi Hanada at EM Labs. Today, I'm going to demonstrate our new generation free space material test solution from our office in Kobe, Japan. First off, a little bit about traditional free space. Complicated system, difficult to use, and not so accurate. It's a typical image of free space, unfortunately. For example, I will show you our own solution a few years ago. It was complicated and pretty heavy. Looks like difficult to use. How about performance? This is the PDF retest example we used for solution introduction. You can see DK is about 2. Considering high frequency like 100 GHz, it was accepted as reasonable. DF value is around 0, so you may say low loss. I think it's fair to say not so accurate. Now about our solution today. It's very simple. Only 15 kilograms, so you can move by yourself. Performance improved a lot. I'm going to overlay the test result to show that. Now you can say DK is 2.06. DF value is much less than 0.01. A lot of improvement. With that, let's see our solution more closely. Keysight Network Analyzer, PC for Material Test Software, and our free space fixture. There are two lens antennas, sample holder. The test signal is focused and applied to the material, then detected by the other antenna to analyze the signal change by the material. For accurate measurement, proper system error correction by calibration is a key. We use TRL calibration of the network analyzer for that. The process was rather complicated, but with a Keysight Cal Wizard, you can calibrate easily without any problem. In the Cal, through, reflect, line, three conditions are measured and use the data to correct system errors. Let's see how it looks like. Start from reflect. Set the metal plate to make full reflection. And you need to move the antenna exactly the same as the plate thickness. In here, it is 948 micrometer. And trigger measurement. Next step is line. Remove the plate first. We measure about the quarter wavelength of the air. So change the antenna position accordingly. And trigger. Finally, through measurement, it's direct connection. So just return the antenna position to zero. And trigger. Calibration completed. I think you see calibration is easy with our fixture and keysight analyzer. Okay, ready to measure PTFE. First, set the sample as we already calibrated the system. We just insert the sample into the holder. That's all. From here, we only use the Keysight Material Test software. Basically, you input the sample thickness and trigger measurement to get the results. This is a software display. Input the thickness of 0.98, trigger, and wait for the results. It's 2.06 as expected. 
How about df? It's nearly zero. If you set the scale properly, you can say it's less than 0 0.002. So much more precise evaluation becomes available with our free space solution today. I hope the free space image has been changed, easy and accurate. Now I think you are interested in repeatability. So far, the result looks nice, but it must be repeatable. To show that, I'm going to measure five times, starting from calibration every time. Five measurements saved, recall and show in the same display. Decay values are very consistent. DF also looks fine. With that kind of repeatability, you can confidently use the test results. How do you find a free space solution? I hope you like it. For more information, feel free to contact to EM Labs. Thank you for watching.